Tower Heroes has officially collabed with Doors, yes, the horror Roblox game, and a tower defense game. That's pretty cool. There is a lot of content in gaming, even some new monsters as well, like Timothy Jr. Timothy, The Glitch, Shadow, Sludge, Hands, which kind of look the same one from the walls. Ambush, that just has a giant seizure. Rush, Ambush, again. Jeff, and then Jack, which is trapped inside the closet still because he is only a jump scare. He goes side to side and dupe. You can buy doors packs, which gives you some uh, interesting stickers. <laughs> it all looks stupid as hell. It's funny though. The Jeff shop with the goblin, who is now an actual tower in the game. On the first wave of hard, you get a Timothy, which isn't usually a mob in game because, well, he, he's just a small chance of a, ju of a jump scare. But in here, yes, he is a very small and weak spider. Also, for each health you lose, you get a jump scare by that same mob. Timothy will now jump scare us again. <laughs> the next guy introduced is Screech. Yeah, Screech in here has some mesh sort of deformation thing, so it looks really cool. Look at the overall details of this man. Oh, and if you cannot tell already, this is the same room that you play in the Doors game with uh, the figure running around. Of course, slightly changed, but it's overall more or less the same exact map. Next up is Sludge, which is very, very slow moving, but with uh, usually more health. Sludge isn't a bad guy in the game, but he does sort of appear when C comes right out of him. I'm not sure that's an actual mob in the Doors game, but in here, they made him into one. Also, when Screech dies, he'll make the same Screech scream. Dies. Also, in the room where the uh, mob spawned from, you can see the same mice and things like that, and all the doors, uh, assets, and whatnot. Spooky. Ooh. On wave nine, you get a guy called Dupe, which I don't think has been seen before, but he has hands coming out and walks in a l legit door. With 13 on him. Yeah, but a very uh, odd looking guy. When a uh, dupe dies, this is the jump scare. <laughs> That's a lot of dupes, goddamn. On wave 11, you get Jack, who is still stuck in the in a little in a little dresser. He has no hands, unlike dude. I mean, at least he has some hands, so bro's just moving with, with the force of his face, I guess. On wave 14 on hard, there's a new guy called Hole. And there's legit a hole in the ground, but it, it moves along, so that kind of makes no sense. It looks very sad, though, and it has hands going out, try, uh, trying to grab something. Look at them. Look at him. He looks stupid. Why is he placing down his friend as a trap? Also, Goblino is a new tower that places down uh, traps. The higher the upgrade is, the better his traps are. Once you start to upgrade more, his traps not only deal damage, but, but also trap him as well, and makes your speed zero. Or just, you know, one-shots him, too. Bro, give me place out and seek stuff, which traps him in place. <laughs> on wave 13, you get a uh, hands, which is similar to the C cutscene when it's those guys from the walls, except now he's just a spinning guy that has a bunch of hands and stuff. Yeah, I think he looks really stupid too. This is two hands in one, so it looks even worse. On wave 19, you get eyes, <laughs> who still manages to get trapped even though he's floating in the air. Wow, okay. Why does he have a skull emoji? <laughs> Eyes also makes weird death sounds when he dies. There's also a Seek in game 2. He runs really fast and has a good trick of health as well. He looks so damn stupid with his eye just going, just staring off into, into the corner, dude. What are you looking at, bud? Well, you died. Figures now, um, buff as hell. It's a skin of Chef Tower. <laughs> go, Seek, go. <laughs> oh, man. Seek, nope. Seek died. But traps really counter seek uh, very hard. Oh look, Goblino now holds the power of God and has that weird blue thing. All right. And a pile of meat as well as a uh, bait. On wave 25, there's now Windno, who isn't actually a mob in game, I think. This reminds me a lot of the ones from the uh, back rooms though. There's that one video with the red room thing. Slower to seek, but still overall decent amount of speed. Oh, he died. Look at him go, man. <laughs> Sorry if I'm wrong about some of the Doors lore mob stuff. I haven't really played a game that much. I played it for like five hours at max, maybe. On wave 27, we finally get Rush himself, who is a 3D model, by the way, not a uh, 2D D decal. Oh, he died. Without those traps and all these uh, chefs, I felt like we would have died from uh, Rush. But yeah, he is very fast and even faster than Seek. God, look, look how much he punches, punches through. Oh my God. And of course he plays the same sound like in game. 
Rush even gets trapped by traps, <laughs> even though he's legit floating. So, okay. Look at Window getting beat down by Crows. Could be me, dude. On wave 30, there's a new guy called Shadow who doesn't move normally, instead, who kind of just teleport across. I'm actually not sure if this is a guy from him game. I never seen him personally, though. Technically, he is fast because he teleports. The only issue is that, well, he doesn't teleport that fast. I think Shadow's gonna teleport. Yep, there we go. Right in front of Buff and all these guys. Yeah, he died. A Amen. 3,000 use a crucifix. God damn. On oh, wave 33, you finally get the Halt, which has 9 armor as well. This has got more of lore. I, re I really don't know, but when you view around, his eyes change as well. Halt's getting beam my crows. <laughs> Halt makes a really weird sound, too. Listen. There's now a window with a question mark on it on wave 35. It's, it's basically more tough. There's also eyes with a question mark as well with the glitch effect. And the, the, the question mark really just means that they're more uh, the tougher. Look, look at Screech, man. Now he's rocking almost 1,000 health. There's also the glitch as well with 5,000 health. Damn, this dude's tanky. He died. Ambush comes on wave 38. And as you can see, he's very tanky and so much health. Thankfully, the trap kills him for sure, though. He's also a 3D model and has a uh, unique scream to him as well. The thing is that if he manages to go through your gate, he'll need to loop around two more times. As you can see, times two, but he died, so no worries. So he can't kill you in the first go. He must go through you three times. Oh man, there's so many glitches. This ambush should punch right through. Hold on. No, it's actually going to be this ambush. There we go. He just put right back at the... Yeah, there you go. Start the map, times two. He needs to go in one more time in order to, in order to kill our base, but nope, we kill him already. This is the last wave which he fight figure himself. On hard mode, he has 240,000 health. Look at him go. Look how big he is. Scruff, use the power of God. Goblino has a crucifix ability which could be used for 30,000 or 50,000 in this case. And it makes him stand still and deals a lot of damage. He just dealt about 30,000 damage to that figure. Bro's getting beamed by all the crows. Go, car kid. Kill him. There we go, use the power of rainbow. <laughs> the power of God compels you. I will use a crucifix. There we go, crucifix on there we go. Nice stand still. And I did major damage as well as well. Now he's just stand still, so he can't he doesn't really have a lot of a lot of choices here, guys. Besides just getting straight straight up just beam. And there you go. After killing figure, you win the game. Winners! I got sick dance. Wow. <laughs> you can now go to the store and buy uh, doors packs with your 50 coins. You can get a random sticker that you're going to choose. You can also go to Jeff's shop to buy some other stuff like the skin for 50 coins, which is a lot, or the game modifier jump scare. I'm one coin short. This game sucks. You can also dress up as the uh, figure yourself after beating the game. Overall, cool crossover. I like it a lot. I don't really play Tower Heroes that much, but after this event, you know, it's not a bad game. Yes, yeah, so this one is the uh, quest mode. There's a little bit of dialogue and a bit of lore if you guys want to read into that. Just join the game yourselves. Oh, yeah, this is when you're first introduced to uh, the uh, Goblin guy. Say the weird Goblin. Um, you could just do nothing, but it'll just do nothing. You, you have to save him. Anyways, yeah, cool game. I like.